please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, hot dogs. Welcome back to another day of finals. We're your hosts. I'm Alyssa. And I'm the Green Arrow, Dallas. Stay tuned for news, weather, and sports. But first, weather with the Scarlet. Good morning, hot dogs. It's finally Friday. Our last day here as the HGTV team, but on to with weather. The high for today is 36 and the low is 19. During lunchtime, it will be around 37 degrees and will continue that way throughout the day. That is it for weather. Now back to the studio with Alyssa and Dallas. Thanks, Scarlett. For lunch today on lines one and two, it will be quesadilla. On line three, soup and salad bar with potato soup. On line four, miscellaneous pizza and pepperoni calzone. And line five is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Reese Coleman, Junior Magdaleno Reese, Itzel Nava Lopez, Lizeth Regalado, and Adam Terrell. Now sending it to Nolan with sports. Thanks, guys. A good luck goes out to the Varsity and Junior Varsity Lady Hot Dogs basketball teams as they travel to Western tonight. And thank, uh, the girls basketball team will play on Monday, November 19th in the Franciscan Tournament at McCutcheon. Game time will be at 6 p.m. and the girls will take on the Harrison Raiders. Tickets can only be purchased on the door. And remember, the game is at McCutcheon. And that's it for four sports with Nolan. And now back to the studio. Before we get started with news, here's, a, here's Caitlin and Nolan with information about HOSA. Hi, I'm Caitlin Markham here with Nolan Varner, and he's a current member of HOSA. So, Nolan, what is HOSA exactly? Well, HOSA is Health Occupation Students of America. You can find it to be quite relatable to the um, formidably known here, uh, DECA Club. Um, but rather than being a business type of club, it is a medical care uh, club. Nice. And how do you join HOSA? Uh, well, unlike DECA, where you have to be in marketing or some sort of class, uh, HOSA, you can just pretty much go to Mrs. Woodard um, right down the hall from here and say, I want to join. Um, yeah. Well, that's simple enough. And what yeah. exactly do we do people do in HOSA? Well, um, there's a couple of events that you can go on, um, such as this year, HOSA is going to Disney World. So, I mean, if Disney World interests you, I would go hit up Mrs. Woodard and say I'm interested in the medical field and maybe Disney World, but nonetheless. Well, thank you, Nolan. Please bring your ID or paper schedule from first trimester with the barcode to you, all your classes on Monday the book checkout for the book checkout. Students will not be receiving new schedules on Monday since they can access their schedules on their laptops. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Now to HDTV's own Daniel Castillo and Lathan Ponton about advanced broadcasting. I'm Daniel Castillo, and this is Lathan Ponton, and I'm just here to ask him a couple questions. First off, how long have you been in HDTV? So, a freshman year, it's a class that you can take. As a freshman, you can take the intro class. So I joined the intro class, and I fell in love with it, and I've been in it ever since. So that's three years at this point. And you're director, right? Uh, yeah, I've been director, but we like to switch jobs to give everybody an opportunity to um, find their strengths during um, our productions. But I've been director most of the time because um, I usually have the leadership skills available to get people motivated to do things. And how does it feel to be director? So like I was saying, um, it's just kind of tough to get people motivated to do things, especially so early in the morning at 7.30, you know, nobody really wants to work. Um, people aren't here, so you have to deal with, you know, finding people to replace them. But other than that, it's pretty fun just because um, you can just talk to everybody and uh, they usually listen to you. It's um, pretty laid back. And what would you expect if you were to take this class? So, incoming as a freshman to take this class, the intro class, um, you learn everything that there is to do in here. The mics, be a director, learn our TriCaster, which we just implemented um, late last year, and then um, cameras and just other stuff that you can do around the studio. But if you're going into it as a sophomore, or junior, or senior, um, you can expect to be a part of the productions and then you know finding outside stories because we try to function as close to a real news station as possible, um, being just students operating out of a high school. So. 
that's it. Thank you very much. Yep, no problem. Well, that's all for the announcements. Be sure to like and subscribe and tune in Monday for a new cast. This is the Green Arrow Dallas and Alyssa signing out.